And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. All right, the boundary that gave us some showers and storms yesterday has worked off to the south. We're seeing high pressure work in. That's what's giving us the better air quality today. But uh, once uh, these storms roll out of here, we're going to be seeing that high pressure work in tomorrow. A nice day, but also going to start warming things up tomorrow and Thursday, especially. We can see the severe storms. Well, to the south and east of our viewing area in Virginia, Kentucky, down toward Tennessee as well. But for us here locally, we're looking pretty good. That green there to, into Fountain County, that's just false echoes on the radar. Uh, no rain for us, a pretty nice clear evening, and that's uh, confirmed here on our Storm Team 18 Skyview West Lafayette in Rossville. Looking pretty good, just some mid and high level clouds. You can still see a little bit of that haze, that orangey tint to the sky. Still from that wildfire smoke that's with us, but the air quality here at the surface, we're in good shape. 80 degrees right now in Lafayette, 78 Monticello as well as Peru, 79 Galveston, 77 Crawfordsville, likely all of our high temperatures for the day. So we will see temperatures tonight get a little bit cooler. We hit the temperatures in the lower 60s this morning. We'll be in the upper 50s for waking up tomorrow morning with a little bit of clouds here and there, but should be a fairly sunny day for our Wednesday. And it's going to be pretty hot too. We'll get a little bit more humidity in, especially by the evening and overnight hours. We'll have a warm front pass through probably about to 2 o'clock in the morning on Thursday that may produce a couple showers and storms. And we'll show that here on Futurecast. Notice here tonight we're going to be clear going into tomorrow morning. This is 630 in the morning Wednesday. All day tomorrow looks good, nice and sunny with a few fair weather cumulus clouds here and there. But going into Wednesday night into Thursday, we will have a warm front move northward. That's going to bring in high dew points. We're talking probably a 70 degree dew point. So that's getting into that uncomfortable category going into Thursday afternoon. May have some morning showers, maybe a rumble of thunder or two, but we will clear out. And that's when we'll be watching very closely for this cold front that will be moving in. Thursday evening um, about five o'clock. Uh, the timing of this will certainly change as we get closer to Thursday and we'll have better data coming in tomorrow. But as of right now, this model particular has this cold front starting storms at about four or five o'clock moving through Lafayette at about six, some of which could be strong to severe. And then after that cold front passes, we'll see much more comfortable weather here for Friday and Saturday. So as of right now, some other models are showing more of the storms firing uh, toward Peru, Crawfordsville in our eastern side of Indiana. But if this cold front kind of slows down a little bit more, storms will fire up more in our western counties. And I think this risk could be pushed back a little bit more westward. So we'll keep an eye on this. Damaging winds, large hail will be the main threat with some of these storms. So stay tuned. We'll keep you updated here for the next uh, 48 hours with these storms here on Thursday. 89 degrees, pretty warm and hot on Thursday. And then we'll cool down 81 Friday, 83 on Saturday with sunshine. And then we'll be watching for more storms possible here. Not a big chance Sunday, Monday, but uh, some scattered thunderstorms likely, but it will certainly get hot as the heat expansion occurs next week. We could be talking 90 degree temperatures and heat index values near the triple digit mark as we get toward the middle and end of next week.